it cannot be caused by vaccinations. Hello everyone, it is already April, which means it is officially Autism Awareness Month. Now, Autism Awareness Day is internationally recognised on the 2nd of April each year. However, I think it's amazing that we have an entire month to talk about autism awareness, inclusion, and assurance that each individual with ASD is provided with the opportunities to achieve the highest possible quality of life. So, this video today is going to address the basis of what is Autism Spectrum Disorder. ASD is a neurodevelopmental condition and is characterized by difficulties with social communication and restrictive repetitive behaviors or interests. So simply put, this condition affects, amongst other things, the way that an individual relates with their environment and interacts with people. A person with autism may have difficulties expressing their needs verbally and difficulties understanding other people's uh, perspectives and feelings. A person with autism may also have difficulty making eye contact and this is because they struggle to process information whilst maintaining that eye contact. A person on the autism spectrum may have difficulties processing sensory information. So a person may be over or under responsive to sensory stimuli or they may be both over and under responsive to select sensory information. This could affect the way that they hear, see, smell, taste or how their body feels in the world around them. People with ASD may also have a developmental delay, intellectual impairment or learning difficulties. Now no two people with autism will present exactly the same and this is why it is a spectrum. An individual may range from very mild all the way to severe autism and this will affect the level of support that they require. It is estimated that 1 in 70 people are on the autism spectrum and ASD is approximately 4 times more common in males than it is in females. There is currently no known cure for autism spectrum disorder. Um, scientists have established that genes may be involved. However, after decades of intensive research, scientists have found no one genetic mutation that all individuals with autism share. Autism cannot be caused by your lifestyle, your upbringing, and it cannot be caused by vaccinations. So considering that people with autism think and perceive the world differently, in order to be able to achieve this high quality of life that everybody deserves regardless of their ability, uh, people in the community really need to gain this awareness. And I hope as education increases around this topic, we can move towards autism acceptance and appreciation. There is honestly so much more that could be said on this topic, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview and I really hope I did this video justice. So this is based on all the research I have done, which I will link some information down below, as well as my personal experiences from working with individuals with autism. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.